Hey everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tower. I'd like to acknowledge the Waramai First Nations people, W-O-R-I-M-I, -I, and welcome to you, your guides, my guides and the universal energies. Yes, it's a beautiful day out. Here I am in a summer dress. Oh my goodness, and it's the middle of winter here. Uh, 25 degrees Celsius, if you wanted to convert that to Fahrenheit for those just still on the Fahrenheit system. Beautiful day. Uh, does have me worried about what summer's going to be be like but yes puppy dogs are absolutely enjoying it okay gonna have a quick look it was last by one of my beautiful uh viewers and very happy to take your questions i'll note them all down and and uh see what falls out and what i feel the need to read on they asked well uh, after i read on scotty scotty from marketing scott morrison the ex-australian prime minister they have asked will boris johnson be held accountable for legally for um for Brexit and for all else that has gone on when Boris was Prime Minister. Um all sorts of uh dubiousness that went on. I'm not feeling he will. I'm just feeling that history's going to look very badly at him uh as the years go by, that his legacy is going to be very much unadmired um and that he's sort of going to fade into being a nothing uh, but i'm not feeling that he's going to be held legally accountable he's a slippery little one that boris johnson isn't he uh mainly because um okay yes there were a lot of lies told about brexit there was a lot of propaganda told about brexit but in the end, the truth was available for those that wanted to seek it out. Um, yeah, it's one of those really, yes, you'd like him to be, but it's one of those really difficult cases. Yeah, there he is on the bottom. Thinks he's all, all to quote Linda G, all that and a cup of tea. Um, he is going to find himself entrapped by the messaging that he put out there and everyone's going to walk away from him when he's no longer got anything of, of value and talking about influence that, that can um, serve any, <laughs> you know, these top echelon people just don't seem to have any friends. Uh, it's all about transaction and money and what can I do for you and, yeah, and they're telling me damn straight, bullseye, that's what it, what it is. I just, it's very, it's very sad. Okay, let's have a look, says me, who had lunch with a beautiful girlfriend yesterday and talked for hours and hours and hours. Okay, let's have a look. Boris Johnson. Will Boris Johnson be held accountable for what went on in regards to Brexit? Will Boris Johnson in any way be legally held accountable for what went on in Brexit? That card. Oh, using my trip and wait tarot for those that like to follow the decks. Um, okay, first card that popped out while I was shuffling, Page of Swords. There is truth going to be brought forward from within. So let's see where it goes. This is whistleblower type truth. This is spy in the camp, uh, information being brought forward from, from behind the scenes and full illumination with the finding himself naked on the horse, basically fully exposed, fully exposed. But whether he's going to be held accountable, we'll see. So there is going to be inquiry, is what I'm getting. There's going to be inquiry. There's going to be witnesses come forward from within the machinations. And he's going to find himself fully exposed. Foundation of the reading, the skilled orator bringing forward a message. But it is only a page. So the foundation of Boris, will he be held accountable? think he's going to try and spin his way out. In the past, choice, poor choices made based on greed and power. And we know that. We know that in regards to Brexit. Okay. Crowning this reading, having something stolen, stealing, lying, betraying, oh, all sorts of deviousness, the crowning of the reading, literally having uh, the... Just the lies that went on. Uh, this is sort of January the 6th type energy with the lies that went on. It's also the Brexit type energies. Uh, Boris Johnson uh, took over from Therese May, but 
Farage was the one that really, really put it into swing. Okay, immediate future, um, disappointment at what's on offer. So I think there's just disappointed at what is being presented. Queen of Cups externally for Boris Johnson, something yet to be revealed, looking very concerningly at that cup, which has not yet had its lid removed internally. Be careful what you wish for. Will Boris Johnson be held accountable? I'm just thinking, be careful what you wish for. I'm, I'm exposing a whole packet of worms here. Uh, hopes and fears, a uh, plan that came to fruition that was formulated by overseas interests. Not surprised there. Outcome, Boris himself, the emperor, who thinks himself, lordy, lordy, my way or the highway, complete and utter downfall. This is interesting. The truth bringing about complete and utter downfall and him being seen in a different light. A different point of view. Right, let's see where this goes. Three involved with that circle of support and their mercenary actions. The infighting that is going to ensue from this being all exposed. And this is his legacy. His legacy is going to be one of out in the cold. Is Brexit is going the the failure of Brexit is going to be his legacy? But we've also this is my financial and ethical corruption card, finding himself with his back up against the wall, but also new new uh, guidelines put in place, new legislation put in place to guard against to to guard against and here we have the UK domestic stability and st security and a lot of work going on behind the scenes and a new start now this ties in with my something new coming forward in regards to to uh yeah something completely unexpected out of left field um and the juggling about the international connections, the financial economic juggling and the authority. So this really ties in with what I read previously uh, about um, uh, Brexit. Have a look on my videos. It was about two weeks ago about uh, about Brexit itself and that I'm, I'm pretty sure that uh, the UK will rejoin Europe, but not in the manner it was. So this is all about the UK rejoining Europe and the, and the work going on behind the scenes and the, the um, economic security of the area and new legislations and new guidelines. It may not happen until after the... When are you having your next election, a 24 election? Um, it may not happen until after then. But if we go back to here... Um, I've got I've got downfall in the face of the truth, but not imprisonment, not destitution. This is a destitution card, but to it, to me, it's more about because we've got the legacy card here. It's about uh, his his financial and uh, ethical destitution rather than his his yeah the 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 his poor his poor ethics and his poor financial um morality and all the rest of it so um i might just just pull another couple of cards and see whether boris johnson's actually going to be taken down I'm I'm not feeling it I'm not feeling that he's going to be held legally accountable but Give these a good, good, good shuffle. Yes, there are secrets that he he doesn't want revealed. <laughs> there are secrets that he does not want exposed in regards to this. Yes, secrets still behind the scenes that he does not want let out. Hiding, hiding, 
financial gain from this perhaps? Let's have a look. Well, Boris Johnson personally, well, Boris Johnson personally, yeah, juggling back and forth, pouring back and forth, trying to work out how to spin the dark money that went on. Yeah, the dark money. But, well, Boris Johnson, there was... And I think I found read in the Brexit one. Remind remind me if I'm wrong, because uh, when I'm in a reading, I don't remember what I say. Uh, that there will be uh, information come forward about money changing hands, and they're trying to spin. They're going to try and spin uh, how to how to explain that. But let's have a look. Will Boris Johnson personally be held? Legally accountable for Brexit. Well, Boris Johnson is personally held legally accountable for his role in Brexit. Okay, come on, let's have a look. Right, three of them who work together, circles of support, challenged by walking away having to walk away, having to emotionally walk away. But it's also walking towards future of unity. Uh, with the rainbow, for me, rainbows always mean unity. Um, yeah, it's, also, it's, it's emotionally letting go and walking towards the future of unity. A lot of work going on behind the scenes at the moment. Did ask whether Boris Johnson will be held personally accountable in the past, he's had to defend himself. Um, crowning the reading, we've got a tower moment for him. So uh, this is about breaking down of the old structures, the old systems, the old way of doing so something can be rebuilt that is more, more suitable and more purposeful for now and here. Immediate future. Information coming forward about the money externally for him. Yeah, information coming forward about the money. Into, so externally, yeah, I, I suspect he made, did quite well financially out of this, put it this way. Uh, it is, he's got the swamp behind him. He needs to take the blindfold off internally and choose with truth he's going to go with because there are secrets that have not yet been revealed in regards to Boris Johnson. The all-seeing cat with the female, a female judge or a female, okay, thank you. I'm getting that this is actually a female prime minister, the outcome, a female prime minister, prime minister or a female, a powerful female legislator who will perhaps be leading a, what am I getting, guys, an investigation? What do you call them over there uh, in the UK when it's a, a parliamentary investigation? That's what I'm getting. His legacy is going to be in ruins. It's going to literally be fool's gold for him, his legacy. Heartbreak, loss, despair when as his financial and moral corruption is fully exposed. There are secrets that he does not want revealed that is going to cause obstacles for him, but also fighting behind the scenes as there is information brought forward about contracts and agreements that he made that is going to be brought forward on a legal basis, that he may may experience very intense investigation and interrogation about, or he may even face prosecution. He's going to find his back up against the wall. He's going to be seen for what he did in the past, and here we have the overseas influence that is going to force him to retreat. I'm not getting 
you know, if I still look through the cards, I'm not sort of getting that he's going to end up in um, prison or anything. It's probably going to feel very dissatisfactory for those that uh, have been severely hurt by his actions. Uh, I just feel more than anything it's going to be a reputational and legacy um, destruction. Boris um, going to be ex it, it, he's going to be exposed and he's going to find it very uncomfortable. But I don't know that legally he's going to uh, experience any um, pain. It does mean for the UK though that uh, heart, uh, tags in nicely with that. Uh, Brexit reading I read the other day about the UK rejoining the EU uh, where it will be stronger for what has been gone before. Okay, thank you for joining me. Love to you all. Take care.